as though I'm your personal trainer. This is working on firming up those inner thighs. Did you know those muscles, one of the most underused muscles of the body, are inner thighs and triceps. Those are the top two underused muscles of the body. But this exercise really target tones the inner thighs, the area we all need to work. Even if you run or jog, you really never work on the inner thighs unless you do exercises like these. Let's focus in on our adductor muscles, the inner thighs. Make sure when you're doing this exercise, your legs stay slightly bent to really firm your inner thighs. Cross over the leg as far as you can and bring it back. Cross and bring it back. Make sure you feel right there in the inner thighs. Your knee faces forward and your back is straight. Four, come on, really do it. One and two. Okay, let's bring it out in front. This is a great exercise for any of you that have bad knees. This is the exercise that you want to do to strengthen the muscles surrounding your knees. So you have to make sure your tummy's tight and your leg is doing the work. Concentrate on that muscle. Come on. Your mind is really thinking about that muscle. That way you really work it. We got two more. One, two. Now we hold it up there. Come on, do the best you can. Hold it up there. Hold it, hold it. That's it. You did it. Yes. Okay. Take a break. Let's do the outer thighs. Out and in. Out and in. That's it. This is working on those saddlebags that we all hate. That's right. Good. Lift and lower. Make sure during this exercise, your knee is facing towards the television, okay? That way you're working on the outer thighs. If you turn your knee out, you're not really working on those saddlebags. So in order to do it correctly, you want, want to make sure the toe and the knee is facing forward. We got two more, and then we hold it up there. Last one. Now hold it up there, come on. Elongate, hold it, hold it. Back is straight, tummy's in. Smile, you did it. You're doing great. Okay, let's switch sides. So move your chair to the opposite direction. And lift and lower the leg behind. Up and down. Up and down. That's it. Squeezing the buttock muscle. Squeeze it. It's all right here. Okay? Really want you to tone and tighten up the buttock. Because as with age, it starts to droop. So let's lift it and not let it stay. You know, muscles can be restructured just like modeling clay. So you can redo your whole body through certain extra sculpts of your body. Isn't that great? You know, genetically, our bones are very determined by hereditary. But you can redo all the muscles of your body from head to toe. We have over 620 muscles that you can reshape. Right now, we're working the buttock muscle group, one of the largest muscle groups, the gluteus maximus, largest of the body. We got two more, then we hold it up. One, two, now hold it up there, hold it up there, come on. You can do it. Can you balance yourself? You did it. Smile, we're gonna have nice buns, hot buns. <laughs> Not the ones you eat, come on. Don't think of cinnamon rolls. That's right, they're fattening. We gotta tone our butt up. Okay, let's work the inner thighs. Bring it across the body and out. Across and out. Make sure your back stays straight and you cross in front of the other leg. I want you to touch your hand right here. Can you feel it? Can you feel the inner thigh muscle working? That's great. No more jigglies in there. That's right. That's the area a lot of us really need to tone and trim. Even I do. I'm not promoting being skinny, skinny. I'm promoting you to be healthy and fit, keeping your body strong. Don't diet or starve yourself to death. That's not the idea. I eat three meals a day, every day. I never skip a meal. My goal is not to be skinny, mini, and that's not what I'm trying to promote to you. I'm just trying to promote a really healthy body, fit and happy. We got two more, come on. Really use your legs, use your inner thighs. Last one. Oh, can you feel it in the inner thigh? Great. Okay, let's push the front of your thigh. Lift and lower. Up and down. Again on this exercise, think about it. Keeping your back straight. Another thing to think about is keeping your tummy muscles really tight. 
and keeping the leg that you're standing on slightly bent. That way it protects your back. No locked knees. Lift and lower. Do the best that you can do now. If this is too hard for you, stop and do it over. That's okay. When you've got the energy to do it, you can take a break, but then don't stop completely. March in place or walk around. Just don't walk to that refrigerator. We got two more. One, two. Good. Hold it up there. Great. And now let's work on the outer thighs. Bring it together. Lift and lower. That's it. We really want you to feel right here. That's the area we all need to trim and tone. Right there, the outer thighs. Last one. Now hold it up there. Can you hold it? Hold it up there. Balance. Beautiful. Hold your body upright. Now watch this. Bring it in front. Pivot it in front. Can you do that? That's a little harder. Bring it out to the side now. One more, okay? Let's just give it a whirl. Hold it. Back is straight. Tummy's tight. Okay, bring it in. Let's stretch out those quadriceps. Bring one heel to the buttocks right like this. Your back should be straight. Your knees should be slightly together right here. Don't let your knee go behind you like this. This is wrong. It's straight up. You try to get your heel towards your buttocks. But everybody's different. So don't try too hard. You never want to go to a point of pain. Just to a point of tension where you feel the ligaments, tendons, and muscles giving a good stretch. In stretching, you never want to overdo it. Hold, hold, hold. Okay, bring your leg up, the other leg up. Heel to the buttocks. That's it. Bring your heel to the buttocks. Feel that stretch. Keep yourself balanced now. Bend the knee that you're standing on. And I want you to have one deep breath. Inhale through the nose. And exhale out the mouth. And give yourself a big hand. I'm so proud of you. You did great. Keep on stretching. I'll be back.